An entertainment business is almost like a band of performing musicians. Everyone knows what a band is. They must rehearse to know each other's music. The parallels between what an entertainment business and the performance quality of a band of musicians cannot be ignored. So to look for a way to maximize the performance of the entertainment business takes rehearsals, just like with a band. The entertainment business is your group or band. It is really frustrating when things need to be rehearsed and there are no strategies in place to maximize showtime quality, get your schedules in order, arrange maintenance, and collaborate with your group members. All necessary for when hired performers show up to give a show. Here are some insights and tips on how to optimize your rehearsals and coordinate with your group members to boost your overall performance. I want to start off by talking about some really important mindsets that we all need to adopt when it comes to rehearsals. The first thing is repetition. Repetition is key. What I mean by that is that you have to understand that when you're doing entertainment for the public and you're investing in stage shows to make your shows better, the way that happens mostly is through repetition. Repeating and refining the arrangements for giving a show over and over. Go over it in your head. The more you do it, the better you get at it, unless you do not notice mistakes. Repetition is key, making muscle memory. Unfocused rehearsals are entirely useless. What happens with most entertainment businesses is that they are complacent. They do not rehearse together to improve their performance. This leads to mediocrity or worse. This requires group meetings, otherwise known as rehearsals. So everyone can go over and suggest improvement in their set lists or their job, for instance. Often there's no focus in rehearsals or no rehearsals at all. We all have busy lives. People have things to do and everyone's mind is on other things. Most of the group is just not going to remember everything. This is what I mean by unfocused rehearsals. Recording the meeting solves this problem. Most entertainment businesses are complacent these days and have been forever. They go into business completely unprepared. They really need to be aware of being unfocused, which renders their shows stuck to the bottom of what they are actually capable of being. It takes a mindset. That is what rehearsal is about, putting prepared ingredients together. Club owners, otherwise known as entertainment businesses, that show up on the scene prepared with the right ingredients and attitude are the entertainment businesses that rise above their own mediocrity. This may be where the term dive bar came from. If a club manifests any of the following characteristics, it may be classified by the public as such. But these characteristics should be avoided, unlike other entertainment businesses that shall remain nameless. A dive bar is typically a small, unglamorous, eclectic, old-style drinking establishment with inexpensive drinks, dim lighting, shabby or dated decor, neon signs <laughs> in the windows, packaged beer sales, cash-only service, and local clientele, mostly local. The term dive was first used in the press in the U.S. in 1880s 
to describe places that were often in basements into which one dives. My point is to get these businesses pulled from their quagmire of mediocrity. That quagmire is very sticky and has plenty of company, plenty of them wallowing out there. The only way to change direction from the mire of mediocrity is to excel in stage show performance, excel in entertainment systems that people can't get at home, and provide notable quality facilities. This takes planning, otherwise known as rehearsal. <laughs>